Hey guys, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. Hope everyone is well. Wanted to jump on and do a little project share with you guys today. It's also a part of um, Tenille Paper Milkshakes Cut Apart Challenge. I was able to create a whole heap of beautiful bits and pieces using the new um, Dear Lizzie Here and Now collection. I've ended up using most of the cutter parts from the cutter part sheet as well as um, some of the tags and pieces from the uh, ephemera pack. So this was one of the cutter parts. I just trimmed it and decorated the other side. I was actually inspired by um, Tenille's flat mail as well with what I did with this one where she stitched down like some sequin trim down the side and I thought that turned out really pretty and cute. I thought it was such a fun idea. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I've um what I created. I thought they turned out really cute and then I thought we could put them together and make a tag flip out of it. So this one, I ended up doing one of those, you know, layered, uh, folded, stitched ephemera pieces. Oh, sunny. Embellishment pieces, I should say. I'm not too sure what we call these. They're just those layered ones, you know, when you fold the um, pieces. I'll just grab one to show you what I'm talking about. So here's one I stitched together using, you know, like your folded piece of paper and then you stitch across. I didn't end up using this one in my project because of, I don't know, it was just too, too pink. So I ended up using some other ones, which I just showed you. So yeah, like on the back of this one, I used like um, the bottom piece of the cut apart sheet. So it had a whole heap of like really long thin pieces and I used them to create, yeah, these cute little zigzag embellishments. So yeah, this one I stitched down with um, one of the cardstock stickers from here and now, added one of the little puffy stickers. You've got the bike in the background and I thought that turned out really, really pretty. So we'll punch a hole in that one soon and yeah, we're going to turn this into a tag flip. So I did this piece here. Um, some of the pieces in here, they aren't all here and now. Um, this little bubble tea came out of, it's called like the journal, journal studio puffy stickers by Amy Tangerine. But I thought they went really cute and perfect with this collection because I wanted it to be really summery and fun. So, um, yeah, some of the pieces in here are like a little bit mixed, but not a whole lot. Like I think I've maybe only used three pieces that aren't here and now to make these. Um, I did this one. This was one of the cut parts as well. And again, this was a part of the cut part, which I turned into like a banner just along the bottom there. So I pretty much used all the cut parts from the Here and Now collection, except for a few tiny little square ones, which I can use again to make a tiny little mini pocket letter. So I thought they turned out really, really cute. Like even this is from the um, Here and Now ephemera pack, this little sort of paper clip thing on the top there. So yeah, I thought they turned out really cute. Got this tag here. Again, I stitched on some of the thickers onto that and then um, popped a little bling sticker on. So the bling stickers aren't from here and now. They, um, I think they're from like a, a Danish, um, like, craft supplier i'm not too sure of the name but yeah i'm pretty sure they come from it's either portugal or, or denmark and i think you can get some though from um from aliexpress those and again that's that 
tiny little butterfly puffy sticker there. That's from the journal studio from um, the Amy Tangerine puffy stickers. Um, this piece here I thought turned out really cute, but I didn't use um, here and now for this big jug piece and the lemon. I'm pretty sure Again, that is another Amy Tangerine collection, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. But this um, sticker that I popped on top is from here and now, and so is this ticket in the back piece there. And I added some of the cute little, like, little, little strawberry puffy stickers and little lemon puffy stickers. I just thought it turned out really cute and fun and summery. We have this one over here. I thought it was a really, really beautiful tag. And um, I stuck some of the floral ephemera pieces on there. I layered up this gorgeous circle piece. I stuck a bird sticker in the background there from the cardstock stickers. And then I popped this cute little um, bee on there, which comes from that Amy Tangerine puffer sticker pack I've been talking about and this gold little heart which comes from the here and now thickers pack um, what else have I done uh, this was out of the ephemera pack it's a cute little caravan and I thought I'd decorate it with a few puffy stickers and I thought that looked really cute so I'm going to like punch a hole in this and try and um, stick that onto the front of my tag flip. I think it'll look really cute. Um, we have this tag here using the cardstock stickers and then some of the little puffy stickers. I just love all the colours of this, um, this collection. It's so bright and colourful. I made a Polaroid shaker using this gorgeous cherry um, frame that came out of the ephemera pack. I thought it was so cute. And yeah, I turned it into a sequin shaker using um, my Mylar acetate and made a beautiful sequin mix in there. And then I added the ice cream, the ticket, one of the thickers, which is a gold beautiful gold word I put fun and then we've got another little cherry which is from the cardstock stickers it's so cute and then I added a little strawberry on the top of the ice cream because I thought that went perfect and yeah I thought this turned out really really cute um, then so when I um, did this cut apart it had the bike on the other side and what I did is after I stitched the trim down the side I ended up cutting off a strip off the top like cut it down and created this tiny little tag here and I thought it turned out so cute so I decorated it with the cute little, um, like the gummy bears and the sprinkles from the Here and Now collection. And I thought that turned out really adorable. So that's basically going to be my front piece to my tag flip. Um, then I just did this piece here. I sort of just kept this one quite simple. It just says hot, hot, hot. And I think the colours are just gorgeous. And I just added a cute little like mason jar with a drink there and a puffy sticker on top and then some sunglasses. But I'm loving all these colours. They are so beautiful. Um, then we have this big giant cut apart piece here. Now, this piece here isn't from here and now it's from a Rosie studio collection called chasing butterflies and I like to color in the nails and just um, include that in my projects because you know I love the piece hands in like <laughs> most of my projects it's like one of my favorite things 
and then I just added a cute little um, puffy sticker to that. So yeah, I'm really happy with how all those tags turned out. So now I've just got my hole punch and we're just going to, um, yeah, punch some holes in and turn it into a tag flip. I don't have any of the Heidi Swap uh, memory uh, like sticker reinforcers, I think they're called. You know, the little glitter gold circle pieces that you pop onto these. I don't have any of those left and they are out of stock. So nobody can get any anymore, I don't think. And they were gorgeous. Like they made a gorgeous addition to, you know, your tags, but can't get them anymore. That's already got a hole in it. That's got a hole in it. Might have to get some coloured ones. Some coloured um, ring enforcers would look really pretty. Sorry, my hands are like really shaky right now. I'm not too sure why. Uh, just try and... Because I don't want to get it too close to the edge. Let's hang the caravan. I don't know. Okay. So I think I've done all my tag except for my sequin shaker. So I'll just make sure all the sequins are down before I punch a hole in here because then I will have to put a, um, a brad through it. I think I need to empty my, it's a bit stuck. All right. So let's get maybe go with that pale color there. Okay. Yep, so that's on there. All right. Got an album ring. Gorgeous pink album ring. So I think I want my back piece to be this one here. So, I'm going to pop it on like that. Um, next size, let's maybe go this long one here. Maybe the hand. Let's go this one here. That one. Let's go our shaker. I love that shaker. It's so cute. Um, what have we got next? Left over. Maybe let's go this pretty bird one here. 
this girl doing a cartwheel. Um, let's go succulents. That one. That one. Let's pop a caravan. And then a little the gummy bears and see how that looks. Oh, so cute. Love that, guys. So bright, so colourful. Very, very pretty. And quite chunky, too. So, now... I'm wondering whether or not to attach like I've got this last tassel left over from my bloom street because I've used them all and I thought maybe we could attach that I wish I had some cute like ice cream or lollipop charms to attach to this but I ordered some from AliExpress you know quite a while ago and nothing's been arriving because of you know the coronavirus so None of my AliExpress stuff has turned up. And you know what? I have a feeling that it probably never is going to. So, I don't know. Anyway, let's pop this on and see how that looks. I don't like this, like, so long. Like, I feel like I need something else here. So, let me just go have a look and see what other charms that I might be able to add on to here. Give me a sec. Okay, so I found this cute little lollipop charm that um, Tennille used on a project that she made for me and I thought I might include this on here. I thought that would look really, really cute. Let's see. I'll just pop that on. Oh, that is so cute. Love it. How fun is that, guys? I love how this tag flip turned out. It's so bright. It's so colourful. Very um, summery, even though we're not in summer anymore. Sorry, I'm just trying to get it so it all, you know, works well. Look at that. I think that's turned out really gorgeous. Really pretty. That lollipop wants to keep on going somewhere. <laughs> it rolls all over the place. So fun. Yeah, I'm really happy with how that turned out, guys. I think that turned out really, really pretty. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, um, this little project and that it inspired you to create something with the new here and now collection or any other, you know, summery and colorful sort of um, collection you may have. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for all your love and support. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.